Every year we hear about certain foods that will keep us feeling younger, healthier, and of course smarter. Today, Dr. Carm Sebastian is here to show us the top five superfoods for 2013 and some great ways to prepare them. Welcome back, Dr. Carm. Thank you so much for having me. I would love to start over on this side with our berries, which we have heard a lot about. Berries are still big for 2013. Berries are very big, but we're finding out more and more about them. So what you want is to go with the most intensely colored berries because they have the most nutrients in them. Okay. Berries are very high in vitamin C. They're very high in phosphorus. They have no fat and they have a lot of fiber. And what's great about them is you can eat them fresh or you can eat them frozen. They really retain their nutrition very well. And what would be an awesome little breakfast or a snack is to uh, put them together with something that is great like yogurt, which is our next big food. Now, wait a second. We've mm -hmm. got blueberries in there. Yes, raspberries, raspberries blackberries, and blackberries. But we could as well have strawberries. You're right. And one of the great things mm. about them, good? Mm -hmm. One of the great things about them is antioxidants. What are antioxidants? Antioxidants go in and they eat up the free radicals, which is basically a waste product of our metabolism. So we want to get that out of there so it doesn't damage our cells. So they help a lot with cancers and heart disease. Okay, now yogurt. Yogurt. We get to yogurt. That is the big calcium superfood. That's incredibly important for women, especially as we age, although none of us are aging. No. But as we age, we want to eat our calcium. And this is really awesome because it's Greek yogurt. It's strained. So you can see that it's very it's thick, thick mm -hmm. and it has a great mouthfeel. Okay. And add a few berries to that and you're laughing. You're ready to go. All right. Quinoa. So interesting. This is called the mother of all grains. This has actually been noted to be the 2013 International Year of Quinoa by the United Nations. Well, Go congratulations, figure. Quinoa. Yes, good for you. Uh, what we've done here is we put it together with some very basic ingredients like feta cheese, tomatoes, and a little vinaigrette, and it's wonderful. Mm. 200 calories, lots of protein, it's good. and lots of fiber. Great. Next is chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. The darker the actually the better. Even though we see here we have white chocolate and milk, milk chocolate. chocolate, but the darker the better because it has a higher cocoa. We want greater than 60% cocoa. Also has antioxidants and has some substance similar to valproic acid which makes us happy. <laughs> I just had some and I'm happier already. <laughs> now tea. Tea. Both green tea and black tea both have antioxidants antioxidants. However, the green tea has been found to have a substance called ECGC, which has been found to decrease cholesterol and to decrease cancer. Oh. So it's wonderful for you. And what I did is I put together a nice plate, which I am calling the super meal of 2013. There you go. We have wonderful dark veggies. I have here a spinach. We have our terrific salmon with our omega fats, which what? are great for heart disease. What did you put on top? Is that That's pesto? Just, it's pesto. Mm, well, because I'm Italian and we yeah. use pesto. <laughs> and then some of our quinoa salad. Have it with a little bit of green tea and happy health in 2013. And you will live forever. Dr. Carm, thank you very much. I'm, I'm very excited about 2013. Yes, it's going to be a healthy year for all of us. It's going to be a healthy year for sure. <laughs> we'll be right back.